guys welcome to the video well as you can see in front of you we've got the 3d printed v turn from plain print um, recently Sunlu, uh, who makes 3d filament reached out to me and asked me if i'd like to try some of their filament uh, and of course being a 3d printer you know you've never got enough filament so they asked me what i'd like and i picked on the blue and i'd heard some really good reports on this uh, PLA carbon and it prints absolutely awesome guys looks looks fantastic it, um, this isn't the first flight of the v-turn I've had it um, up a few times um, but for one reason or another mainly old age uh, I've been struggling to get a good video um, I have got some video and as you can see today it's looking pretty murky and misty but it does look to be brightening up a little bit so we might we might be able to get uh, get up with the so I'll just give you some details of the plane it's a it's a 55 inch wingspan uh, I can't remember offhand what that is in in meters um, or centimeters but I'll, I'll put it up on the video um, and you noticed on the front I've got the run cam uh, pro I've just recently purchased that and I have got some footage already, so if we, if we don't manage to get up today because of this mist, I'll put some footage up of that. Um, and it flies fantastic. <laughs> if just take the top off, I'll show you inside. I haven't got a batch in the moment, so she's a little bit bouncy. So as you can see inside there, there's loads of room. And the plan is eventually to put a flight controller in it and do some FPV. Um, at the moment, I've got the uh, Spectrum AS3X in there. But when I go to using the um, flight controller, I'll be switching over to ELRS. Um, and as you can see, we've got the little Runcam Pro on there. Yeah, you may notice underneath there, we've got the uh, starter trolley. Now, this isn't the first time I've used it, and I will put some footage up. Um, the, the first time I use it. This will actually be, well, in theory, the third time. Uh, the first time one of the wheels fell off, my fault. And the second time it took off, uh, but the trolley decided it wanted to go with the plane. So, uh, so this time I've put some springs underneath there and just a little bit of hot glue to keep them on. So if we do manage to get up today, and I think it is clearing a bit, it doesn't look as bad as it did. Oh yeah, it is looking quite good now. So I think we will have a go today. So we'll so, get set up. I'll get the drone up. So if we see if we can get some uh, shots of it taking off and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yay! We managed. <laughs> I've got the AS3X in now, which makes it really smooth. Well, as I say, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. <laughs> It'll push me luck too much. I'm going to come down the field, even though well, the window's turned a little bit. We're in! Hooray!
click the motor on everything working correctly all right let's try <laughs> two wheels on my wagon <laughs> right <laughs> Take it off. We better bring that back in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the wrong camp going. <laughs> Landing. So guys, I thought I'd just do a bit of a post-flight summary on what I thought of the uh, uh, takeoff on the dolly. I mean, I think it's done really well today considering the uh, the time of year we are in the UK, I mean we're in, um, what are we now, we're October the 25th, 6th, something like that, and uh, as you can see all the mist is cleared, and uh, you know it's not looking too bad now, but the grass is quite wet, and um, even with the uh, planes where we have undercarriages on, we sometimes struggle to, to, to get them off because the, uh, the grass just seems to grab hold of them. Um, but the, you know that's that's the nature game I and mean, it's a fantastic field um we're not a very big club but the beauty of that is that the uh you know you, you very rarely are waiting for flights i know some of the bigger clubs in south yorkshire you know especially if you're learning or you're waiting in your turn you can be waiting quite a long time but that's the benefit of this club the downside is that the fees are a bit more so you know to cover the cost because it's not so many of us but a membership is increasing so uh things are looking on the bright side so yeah, so what did I think of the V-turn? Well, I think the V-turn's awesome. And Plain Print have done a fantastic job on that. You know, and as I keep saying, I think it's been highly underrated. Um, the modifications I made to the trolley, uh, you've seen from the footage of the first attempt, uh, didn't go so well, uh, where one of the wheels fell off. And then when it took off, it went, the trolley actually went with it, didn't come off. So I put some springs on. And all these are as little, uh, almost like springs you get from a pen and what I did is I've drilled out the carbon rods put some new three mil rods in and I've put these springs in and what I've done is just put a don't know whether you can see it you might be able to see it on that one there's just a little dab of carbon uh, there's a little dab of hot glue there so it's just made of standard PLA the 
uh, trolley with a couple of screws it prints in two parts and then the wheels are in TPU so there's a bit of flex to them uh, they took an absolute age to print uh, about four hours for each one because if you've done any 3D printing guys you know TPU you have to slow it right down uh, but I've got a new 3D printer coming soon the uh, uh, Corality uh, K1 um, so I'm gonna uh, probably gonna be printing one of the Eclipse on planes the Cobra Jet if you've seen that I'll put a picture of that that looks pretty awesome and I've got some EDFs that I've had for years that uh, been sat and you know waiting to go in something so uh, that'll be coming next so uh, yeah so all good eventually <laughs> thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one